Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Terence here back at it with another video. Am I in focus? Looks like I am. Cool. Uh, thank you so much for the overwhelming support I've had for my channel. I'm really happy uh, over the past 4-5 uh, um, days that I've been uploading, right? So uh, thank you so much for the bottom of my heart and uh, please continue to extend your support even on this video. It's a simple like, share and subscribe. That will really mean a lot. And also if you want to get notifications, uh, don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon as well right so uh, today I have something interesting to talk about uh, if you read the title by now you probably know it it's five types of people that you just cannot help um, now the reason I say you cannot help is because either uh, it's 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 not fruitful in you investing your energy and also um, it's not fruitful, fruitful in for them because they just don't want to change right so I just split the, these people up also in different categories right uh, five types of categories in fact so let's begin with the first one so Again, I know, I know you guys will be like, what is this guy looking at on his screen? So yeah, I just make a couple of notes before I begin videos, right? So I think so it's important. It's small scripts, but not the entire video, right? Most of the video is raw, but at least the topics are in scripts, right? So that, so that I just don't forget in between. So the first category of people are the ungratefuls. Uh, so these are the kind of people where, in, uh, let's say you help them once, right? You help them twice whenever they ask for something or they requested for something. But on the third time, let's say you say no to them, right? Uh, these are the kind of people on, let's say on the third or the fourth time that they ask you for help and you say no because you want them to stand up for themselves, right? Um, so, uh, so their reaction would be quite adamant in, in, and very clear and very loud in terms of stating that, you know, because you didn't help me the third or fourth time, that means you're a bad person and I don't, don't want, uh, so don't tell me what to do. Kind of thing right so uh, so so these kind of people are quite ungrateful in terms of what help that you've given them in the past right so it, it's no point in you trying to uh, helping them uh, help them help themselves um, for the future so go ahead and just skip these categories of people this category of people I mean um, because they'll always be like that right uh, it's probably subconsciously drilled into them uh, from the childhood right because probably they've gotten everything that they wanted or it could be anything else, I'm not a psychologist, but this is just that thoughts that run, run, run in my mind right now. So any any type of people that you feel are ungrateful, if you just two, if you get two instances where the person has been ungrateful to you in terms of your extended support to them, just go ahead and exclude them uh, from your conversation. You can they can still be part of your life and purpose, just keep them at this distance. Right? So uh, the second one are the narrow mind people. So uh, these people are there, there is a butler of people like everywhere. Uh, in the world with this mentality right so uh, these people are obligated to in their minds that you know whatever they do is correct and whatever they say is right right and they will not take no for an answer so narrow-minded people are again are quite really difficult to deal with right so helping them um, sometimes is fruitful sometimes is not but most of the times it's not because they're just too sensitive in terms of anything else that they want to learn or talk about uh, so so it's like this let's say they have, uh, they have, they have something to discuss in terms of a business opportunity. As an example, right? Uh, let's say you pro, you you propose your alternative uh, solution or your alternative goal or alternative idea or alternative met methodology to uh, to implement said business, right? So these people would be you know like I want to do step one, two, and three. That's the only step we have to do. If not, uh, don't help me at all, right? So uh, do not waste your time and your energy in helping such, such kind of people, right? Because uh, yeah, it is. It's, it is because they are very narrow-minded and, and headstrong, right? Which in some cases is a good thing, but most of the times it's not. If you are part of a community, if you are part of a community, right? Uh, so go ahead and avoid the narrow-minded people, right? So that's those are two categories. Um, so the third one is a little complicated. Um, I call these the idealistic slaves um, because since the childhood up to wherever they are now, right? They have been groomed in such a way that. Uh, what they're brought up with is the only right thing and, and the other things are just wrong. I'm, I'm trying to be as politically correct as possible in this video without hurting anyone's sentiments. But let me give you an example. It's like saying, uh, it's, like, uh, it's like saying Jesus is the only God and Savior in the universe, you know. <laughs> um, I hope that example was uh, quite easy to understand. I'm not going to go deep into this because it may have butt out some people but I don't want to do that. It's a family friendly channel, right? And whatever I speak is the truth and nothing but the truth, right? So, um, so these kind of people have ideals and morals 
drilled into them is at such extent wherein they even even the truth is uh, is blinding to them all they see is just their uh, written word or written document or written things in their mind right i'm not saying this is only religion it can be even let's say an organization how an organization works right how your team works etc right uh, so it can be a number of things so if you see any people uh, with such idealistic values or uh, i call them as idealistic slaves because they're slaves to their own values and they don't want to look uh, past or uh, look for something more than that than what they already know right so don't waste your energy in terms of that so those are the third category of people um i know because my videos are kind of like ranty so i just talk a little uh, quicker than expected so i can keep the time short <laughs> right so yeah so the next the fourth kind of people are i call them these uh, the easy going the, the easy going folks right so these people who are the kind of people who want to just uh, what do i say uh, drive through life or move through life just just by being themselves and just by not doing anything just by you know come whatever may kind of situation that they create in their mind so so what what these people are are a bunch of i'm not going to say hippies okay <laughs> so don't get offended <laughs> okay right uh, <laughs> these are the kind of people who are like who who, who have taken that um, the um, the sentence of uh, taking a chill pill all the time to extreme levels because they don't really care about you know things like uh, materialistic things or financial things or goals or many other things that uh, a normal human being would aspire to or work hard for right so these kind of people just want to go through life and just you know open the door and close the door that's it they don't want anything in between in life right um, and these people are actually quite gentle and quite uh, not helpful i would say but uh, quite calm in the demeanor however if you ask them let's say to to uh, help you with you know i don't know that like goal that you want to uh, do with them or uh, you know a business idea you want to launch with them or a project that you want to create with them right they just won't help because it doesn't matter to them right um, so it, it's really difficult uh, you trying to help people who are so easy going right they say they don't want to achieve anything else basically that's the easiest way i can put it uh, <clears throat> so that's the fourth kind so uh, sorry i'm a bit exhausted <laughs> it's been a quite a long day so so the fifth kind and the last kind for today's uh, video and today's category i call these the perfect ones so uh, the i know i just said that so quickly the perfect ones right <laughs> so i think so the the the, the title is self explanatory the perfect ones so these are not just spoiled people but these are also people who think that they know everything and they know uh, they know at the end how the how the multiverse operates and <laughs> right and let's say let's say you talk to, uh, to talk to them about a new foreign language you learned right which you obviously know that they don't know right but somehow they will find a way to integrate <laughs> some information into <laughs> into that foreign language right if they don't they know nothing about it the reason is because they have this uh, not a ego but uh, this mental uh, fortitude of putting out information whether it's right or wrong into any any situation or any conversation just so that they appear that they know everything right um it's easy to identify these people so if you ask them uh if if you ask them about let's say a, a project that they built i'm just talking an example and analogy here a project that they built right and if you ask them uh, what challenges did you face and they would be there with no challenges for me for me no challenges i just did that is there's no it's very easy right i can do it quite easy so again i i i <laughs> so it's quite easy to identify these folks right uh, the reason i say you cannot help these kind of folks is because they know everything already so what's the point of you helping them right now that will change only when life hits them so hard that they come back to you right or come back um, to normal grounds right in being a human so these people have also forgotten that they human actually all these categories of people have forgotten that they human right they've created this mental boundaries mental constructs that there's something else right um so yeah guys so those are the five categories of people that i feel um there's no 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 i wouldn't say no point but i wouldn't i wouldn't say put a lot of effort in helping these kind of people um in finding the right path because most of them create their own path <laughs> and and say that it's right and that's the only path right just just to summarize um also guys so if you felt if anyone if you have felt offended by this video is not this video is not meant to hurt anyone right uh, it's just to speak the truth and what i feel uh, 
uh, can help you all day to day in terms of observing different kinds of people around, right? Uh, feel free to leave your suggestions in, in the comments, right? Don't forget to like like the video and subscribe. The guys, I'm seeing a lot of you guys are watching my videos but not subscribing. Please feel free to subscribe. It helps a lot. Helps me. Uh, helps it. Uh, likes also help and shares also help. But subscribing tells me a message that you know many people want to listen to what I have to say, right? Uh, so yeah, guys, that's it for today. Um, yeah, ciao. Take care.